everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a speed build challenge for you all. This is the only kids furniture challenge created by Koniki D here on YouTube. Nick is a really really good friend of mine and he kindly tagged me to do this video and I was like yeah I'm gonna do it because one I love building and two challenges just yes so i'll leave his video link and his channel link in the description down below as the title and the title of the challenge suggests basically all you have to do for this is create a house using only kids furniture and obviously in the places where you cannot do that such as like kitchen and the bathroom where you obviously don't have a kids cooker or a kids toilet then you just use the standard items from the game but in places where you can do that for example using this like sofas and chairs and the beds and just furniture and items and stuff yeah like um pictures and stuff yeah cool okay so yeah then you just use the kids furniture stuff for that so yeah this is a really really good challenge and i have a lot of fun doing it um it was all right cool. Uh, the reason I, do, I like I love building but I don't do a lot of builds because my like filming when I film builds my game lags immensely and you'll probably notice that because at some points in the build like the footage kind of it doesn't stop but I, I I stop to just to let the game catch up with itself a little bit and then it continues on oh god my voice kind of just broke there it continues on being a little bit smoother but um yeah so Anyway, like I was saying, the, back to the build. I love building. Yeah, it's all great. Um, and I really enjoyed doing this. I really love the way it came out. To be honest, like I'm, I, I originally wanted this to be a starter home, um, but you know I kind of got a bit excited towards the end with like pictures and um, you know electronic items. So you know it ended up not being a starter home, but it's all good. So you know, you live and you learn. I think it was about thirty thousand simoleons. Um, to be honest, like it could, it could be a start home if you just got rid of like some of the paintings around the house and some of the electronic items. It would totally um, be cheap enough to be a start home. Which I am probably, I am thinking about using this house. And there's a pr pr prime example of me like stopping to let the game catch up with itself. Sorry about that. But anyway, I was, I am thinking about like just kind of taking out the kids furniture refurnishing this and then using it as a genuine house because i really love the way it came out um i really do enjoy it uh, i like it a lot i think it looks real cute yes and um, there i go moving it around again i always do this because i i always kind of put them like too close to the like the thingy the thingy i don't know anyway onto the inside now furnishing it doesn't look excessively massive on the inside, but um, I, I like I utilize the space I think pretty well. Uh, I like how it came out. I really do like how it came out. Um, I it has one ba one bathroom and two bedrooms. Um, obviously both of those bedrooms are using kids furniture so if you want to download this house you can go ahead and download it on the gallery um Rebel just cross yeah follow me cool mm -hmm. and download this house if you'd like um so obviously yeah those are two both are kind of quote unquote kids bedrooms but the whole house is using kids furniture anyway so if you want to download this and you want to change it up a little bit feel free to do so um, so there I am just you know creating the rooms and everything um, and then I go on to furnish I used a lot of bright bright colors when I was furnishing which I never really do to be honest like I use a lot of bright yellows and greens and stuff like that and I use like a bright purple in one of the rooms and a bright blue in the other one well, it wasn't a bright blue it's like a dark blue but it was a, a vibrant blue uh, here we are in the kitchen. I wanted to, the kitchen is very, very small. I did want to originally have like a, um, an island, but you know, this is damn tiny. It, it wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. So I just settled for a dining room table. A lot of, to be honest, a lot of start homes don't even have dining room tables. So I think I did pretty well with this one. Pretty well, yes. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah. And the, oh, and in the end, I've got some photos for y'all. For y'all. That was so weird. I've got some photos for you all <laughs> at the end um, of the house. And I did, I was doing, furnishing like the outside, like the exterior. Um, 
doing what do you call it when you like put the plants down and stuff oh i forgot oh i forgot oh no oh well but yeah i added some like plants and just like a little climbing frame out in the back but the footage kind of cut off before at like when i was doing that which i didn't realize so you guys don't see that but um i got some photos so it's fine i only added down like two plants and a climbing frame so it's not exactly like you've missed much there i go with the bright colors i know i didn't know whether to do like the dull yellow or the bright yellow and i was like you know it's a kid's furniture let's just go with a bright yellow and then i did like a bright green in the bathroom uh yes i like it a lot I've already, I'm kind of just kind of bored at this point because I've already filmed this like once before but the audio was jacked up so here we are again filming this again, so fun, yes, mm. <laughs> cool, uh, yeah, so that's fun. Alright, so here we are in the bathroom, just adding down, you know, toilet, sink, mirror, a few, two pictures, you know, a little soap toilet paper roll on the side you know the the usual then going into the living room where I went a little bit crazy on the the like the decal is that what you call them like little wall decals got a little bit too excited with those I think I like covered one whole wall with them but you know this is a fun build it's not supposed to be serious okay it's all good all all good and I think everything in this room is kids furniture oh wait yeah everything is apart from the um the computer because i added a computer in the end i changed things around a bit and i added a computer in because i thought let's utilize the space a little bit more so here's where i like covered a whole wall in, wall, in, in decals wall decals but i moved it onto the other wall because i didn't like it there and i thought i can utilize the space a little bit more there that doesn't need to be there so i moved it uh don't those kind of remind you of pokemon they remind me a little bit of pokemon they do yeah um so here's where at this point i was like putting down a TV and I thought you know if with these big ass windows you need a big TV but I didn't want to you know spend a lot of money so I forgot the you know the little cheat to make things bigger I forgot that because I haven't built build I haven't built that's the one built in so long but then I remembered it when I was doing one of the other kids bedrooms so yeah cool mm -hmm. and there I go just kind of switching things around thinking well I can put something on this back wall so let's move these around and utilize the space yes so there I am doing that so fun mm -hmm. i know i did like a little desk a computer desk thingy there and i had this like the plum bob the big plum bob picture there with some lights around it and i thought it was real cute i wanted to do like one big one and then two little ones but um yeah i couldn't do that because it um like I didn't have it wouldn't let me because the door was there and I just couldn't be bothered to put the move objects cheat on so I didn't I mean I actually did that later on so it's kind of defies the point but I was just too lazy I mean it looks cool like this anyway oh my legs I hurt I was sitting on my legs like in my chair now my legs are moving around okay on to the two bedrooms I did a blue bedroom and a purple bedroom I kind of went a little bit cray cray in the the purple the B -b -b fudge the blue bedroom it turned out a little bit weird but i mean like i said it's a kids room challenge thingy you know it doesn't have to be amazing and look great okay it's just a little bit of fun and okay so in the purple bedroom i wanted everything to be purple and pink uh i put a bed i put a bed i put the mirror the mirror yeah that's fine at the end of the bed i mean a lot of people might say that's a bit weird but you know i have a mirror at the end of my bed like not at the end of my bed but my bed the wall my, the like where i lie on my bed the wall that i'm facing i have a mirror on that wall it's not directly at the end of my bed but you know i, I have that i mean it was there before my bed was there you know before i changed my room around but you know you guys don't care about that anyway so mirror at the end of the bed i mean if you are like one of the only people that looks fabulous when they wake up in the morning why not like why would you not want to look at your fabulous face in the morning when you wake up like the first thing you, i like obviously i don't look good in the morning a lot of people don't but i don't know someone the sim that lives in this room might you never know and i know that teddy you can't get to it but you know it's just a decoration it's fine okay so this is more of like a i don't know teenagery teenager bedroom mm -hmm. i did this little thing this is where i kind of got excited with i thought with like the electronics like i put in like two speakers and like a slab in this room i don't know what i just thought like it might um i don't know like the, the kid that lives in this room might enjoy 
a lot of electronics and speakers and stuff so I did that and then I did this little kind of layer in the corner I don't know it's, there we go putting in the little layer it's not it's not even that great to be honest but you know like I said fun kids build okay so we're coming to the end of the build and then the photos are gonna come up and you can see like my photos are absolutely terrible I was kind of like getting really lazy when it came to taking the photos I got quite bored so you know that but anyway, coming up to the end of the build. So I'm gonna tag some people to do this build. Um, who am I gonna tag? I am going to tag Mega Simmer, Kirsten, obviously, because you know, hashtag Kirsten's great. I love you, boo. Uh, so I'll tag her. She's been doing a lot of builds li lately. I'll link a channel down below, go watch them because they're all amazing. So she might enjoy this. And um, who else shall I tag? Uh, um, I'm gonna tag Simtacular as well. I'll tag her to do this, Devon, I'll tag you to do this challenge. And who else? I'm going to tag, is it Dahlia? Dahlia, I don't know, Dahlia, is that how you pronounce your name? I, don't, I really don't know. I'll put it on the screen anyway, I'll put all the names on the screen and the links in the description. Um, you've been commenting on a lot of my videos recently and I really like your channel, so I'll tag you to do this. Good luck, have fun. I hope all of you three do this and you tag some other people. Um, and if any of you, I tag everyone to do this, really. So let me know. And also let Nick know if you do do this ch challenge, because challenge, I'm sure he would love to see your interpretations. So enjoy the rest of these photos and enjoy the rest of your day. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.